well guys welcome back to it another features video on the redmi note 9 now this may also apply to other redmi phones but as usual since we have the redmi note 9 here and i'm going to show you some of the tips and tricks that you can apply to customize your phone and there are some neat features as well so the first feature is in special features so let's quickly go to settings here and here you'll find special features there you have it and here you should find quick replies now this can be used to a lot of things that you do while say text messaging or even while watching videos or shopping on amazon and there are a bunch of applications that are supported here as well so whatever application if you want to use like say you are working on something and suddenly some message pops up and what you can do is while you enable this one quick reply and just enable to whatever apps you want to use it will appear as a quick bubble up notification just like this on top of uh, uh, anything that you are working and you can quickly reply to those messages without having to like switch over to that particular app so that's very handy again so as you can see i have the calculator app here as well including the chrome camera so whatever app you keep you can instantly reply to the notification as just there itself and it's very useful while you are using whatsapp or messenger otherwise what you have to do is you have to just go to the application or even if it's in the notification here you just have to go there open the app and then reply right instead of doing that you can quickly reply to any application then and there itself so that's one quick thing that you can customize from the special features option here the next one is changing the text style now this one is very nice like if you are messaging wherever you are like even on whatsapp if you are just messaging there are a bunch of things like uh, changing the uh, font style itself a lot of times i think you have seen on instagram or anywhere else with the profiles how they have styly written like they have stylized the font and you wonder from where did that appear now it's in the mint keyboard so this is the new keyboard that uh, xiaomi is like using with their phones which is really nice and i love this miui uh, interface as well with the keyboard thing going on here you'll just see what i am trying to say okay let's write them into five because it's so nice then as you can see there are three things here right the third one is text if you just tap on that you will find a bunch of fonts this is very very cool looking like if you are writing messages to anyone you can surprise them by using different styles so if i just go ahead and write wiki as you can see how the font style is here right so it's so cool to look at you can use all these fonts so if you just go to the keyboard layout wherever you are like even on whatsapp you can write the messages if you just tap on this t mark you have various fonts here just tap on any font that you like and you can write messages using that font right guys so this is where you use the text keyboard as you can see there's also clipboard stickers languages here you can change the language to whatever language you want you can also apply themes and here's the clipboard thing and there is also quick reply here as you can see you can set the quick reply uh, like if you want to quickly reply by saying call me back call me later or even my email while you are writing email if you just tap on that automatically it applies there so all these customizable things are over here you can just go ahead and use whenever you want and whatever you want so this is another cool trick that i really loved using the xiaomi's mi keyboard there is also smart messaging on there the next one is just tap and hold the home screen if I just tap and hold otherwise you can go to settings and then home screen so we will just move to settings here and here you should see show memory status if you just tap on more here just I'll tap on more and here if I swipe up like this as you can see there is show memory status what it does is while you are on the recent screen you can actually see how much RAM available how much it has consumed like 2.5 GB out of 4 GB is currently available so that's when you know how much RAM it's taking for all the applications like if there are some applications which are using more ram you can just go ahead and like remove that app so that's a little trick you can apply there right now i am updating to miui 12 once that's done i'll also show you what are the new features on the miui 12 so hit that like button and don't forget to click on that subscribe button as well okay guys the next setting is inside this one itself as you can see here if you go to more there are so many things that you can customize like minus one screen have you actually seen this there is app vault as well as google discover or you can tap it to none what this does is if i just go to home here right now we are on the home screen swipe right once again as you can see there are a bunch of different cool things going on here now this is appeared from that setting like if i go ahead and i will show you quickly 
so if i just tap on home screen tap and hold go to settings go to more and minus one screen now if i change this app vault to google discover all right so if i just go ahead and take back i'm just swiping right on the home screen there you go you have the google discover now and if you don't want anything to be appearing there just you want to like switch between these home screen and not this minus one screen just go ahead to the settings again where we went so settings tap on more again this one you can just tap on none now what happens is if we go to home screen there is not really any other screen going on there right guys so this is again a little trick that you can apply and customize your phone uh, i would suggest you use the app vault it's much uh, useful as you can see with the app vault you can do a lot of stuff quickly like calculator use and uh, there are so many tools that you can apply you can instantly clear cache memory which is what it's done it's very quick you have all the news all the applications you can actually customize each of the settings right away here there is also steps right if you just go to settings here you will find that let's say i don't use this cricket more i don't use um, like advanced tools or tickets you can just disable them and whatever you want based on your like preference you can just go ahead and shuffle it like up and down so this is how you can do and you will find that accordingly right away from here you can also search to whatever you are looking on google search just right here as you can see there is google search here if i just tap i can just go ahead and search anything on google right so this is a little quick trick that you can apply which is in the home screen settings which you just saw now so guys the next setting is inside again home screen like we just went to home screen by using the settings or tap and hold on the home screen now here what you can do is another thing to change the icon size like if you want to make it look really cool you can just change it to xs which is extra small or if you are finding difficult to find the icons you can go it to xl so this is where you can change and then tap on apply the icon size gets changed instantly there is also this blur app previews what this basically does is if you just go ahead and use this for like facebook amazon or uh, some critical applications like if you want to hide it with the privacy so if i just tap on recent icon so those applications will get blurred it just won't show up like this so it gets blurred so that you don't see what's going on there when you just switch to recent screen so that's again a nice little trick that you can use on this redmi note 9 and it's also available on like various other phones as well so again it's inside the settings home screen here if you just tap on settings and go to more here you'll find blur app reviews now what this does is if i just open up the gallery quickly so let's say we have got some pictures over here and if i just press on the recent button as you can see it got automatically blurred you can't see what's going on there so that's the trick that's the setting you can apply by going to settings and using the blur app preview from here okay guys so these were little tricks that you can apply and customize your phones i think the video is getting already like very lengthy so i'll be making another video with more interesting settings that i find on this phone so hopefully you like these kind of videos hit that like button and share it with your friends and go ahead customize your phone to your liking and don't forget to click on that subscribe button i will see you all in another one till then take care everyone bye bye